Ready? Yep. It is time for Christian meme review. <laughs> okay, first meme. Oh, this is special Pride Gay Edition. Okay, <laughs> love everyone no matter what. But what if they are gay or they believe in other gods? Yes, even if they ask stupid questions. <laughs> Plot twist. Uh. The thing is, like, man, I remember being in that mindset where that really doesn't feel like a stupid question. It, like, made sense. Somehow. So this is only gonna be funny to people who are kind of post that. Because if you're still in it, it's not gonna be you're like, much. wait. But you should love everyone, right? That's what... Well, the loophole that you can go through, I think, with this is just because I don't think you should be gay or should have a different god doesn't mean I, I don't love you. So it's like the definition gets kind of like twisted or... Or they do what they did to us where they're like, we're loving you by kicking you out. By excluding it's, you. It's tough love, yeah. but it's better for you. Next one. Ready? Yep. The gay agenda. When was the last time a gay person knocked on your door asking if you'd like to hear the good news of Elton John? <laughs> Ooh, I'd be like, yes, please. <laughs> I like me some Elton John. <laughs> that's that's kind of true. I think there actually is an agenda somewhere, but it's definitely not people trying to make other people gay or something like that. When you saw only one set of footprints, <laughs> it was then that I carried you. <laughs> Wait, I'm not getting it. You don't get it? Oh, is he carrying like a little baby? Yeah. Or his own tail? No, oh. it's not his own tail. <laughs> it's a little baby. Oh. Wait, but do you know where that's from? Yeah, there's, it's the, the Christian poem called Footprints. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got that for some reason. Okay, wah wah. All right. I think that's kind of funny. Well, it's cute and funny. It, yeah. I guess we should rank these. Mm. This one I'm giving it 8 out of 10. The first one... No, we can't go backwards. Oh, dang it. Because I really like the first one. Okay, we'll go backwards. What's the first one? You gave that, what, the animal one, an 8 out of 10? Yeah. Okay. I think I give it a 5 out of 10 because it, it wasn't super funny to me. Okay. I mean, it kind of is now, but it took me a while. So the first one I give a 9 out of 10. Like, wow. I really like that one. Okay, uh, first one I give a 6 out of 10. Second one I give a 7 out of 10, I think. 6 out of 10. Alright. Okay, worst example of cultural appropriation ever. LGBT stole the rainbow from God. It's his. He invented it. Genesis 9 through 11 through 17. Give it back. <laughs> Give it back to who? Well, you gotta God? read the second part. Oh, okay. One of my favorite things about Pride Month is celebrating the many achievements of the LGBTQ community. Like when we collectively <laughs> stole the rainbow from God. <laughs> God was like, whoops. God was like, hey, motherfuckers, get that back. I've it heard is. that. I've actually heard that a lot, though. That, yeah. that the rainbow. It's such a us against them mentality instead of just being like, why can't the rainbow be whatever it can be yours, how you want it to be, and it can be yours, how you want it to be. Well, I don't think rainbows belong to anyone, but no. actually, if we want to push the envelope further, I don't think language belongs to anyone either. But a lot of people get upset about that. They're like, oh, well, if you're white, you can't say these words, only black people can say them. And if you're black, you can't say these words, only women can say them. I think anyone can say whatever the heck they want. And I think if God cared, he'd deal with it himself. Isn't that what, uh, what people would say? Oh, then that's what AIDS was. God gave, gave people AIDS. Yeah. All right, uh, I give this five out of 10. Mm. I give it seven out of 10. I, I thought it was pretty good. Man, you're giving things high scores today. Okay, next, do you wanna read this one? Sure. <laughs> you gotta read it first, and then we have. I one. named my cats thoughts and prayers because 
They are useless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I give this one a 9 out of 10. Oh, I'm wow. giving higher ranks for animals today. I give this a 9 out of 10, too. Really? Yeah. I feel like thoughts are... Oh, there's three cats. Uh, yeah. I feel like thoughts are less useless than prayers, in my opinion. Because at least you're like, oh, I'm thinking of you. Like, you probably literally mm. are thinking of me right now. Like, at least I know that that... But when you're just like, I'll pray for Well, you. so this is just like such a phrase yeah. that it's almost... I think it's sentimental, but I have a couple beefs with it. One is it's really placating. So... You know, it's almost just yeah. said to soothe people. It actually doesn't address responsibility, solve any problems, but it just says, oh, my thoughts and prayers are you. Therefore, I don't need to help you move. Or therefore, I don't need to actually give you any money. Yeah. It's also said like, oh, you're supposed to feel better now because I say this. But then, like, in my experience, maybe this is like, takes one to know one or whatever that phrase is. How many times do people actually pray for those people? Like, it's almost, it's like just a phrase. It's not like these people are like on their hands and knees. It reminds me of like, in our culture, you can say, hey, how are you? But you're just saying, hey. Yeah. You're it's, not actually asking how a person It's totally is. just a cultural phrase. Yeah. And they are useless as cats. <coughs> Ready for today's final one? Yep. Straight pride <laughs> parade. <laughs> That's a good one. That one. Pretty accurate. Is really good. I give this one a nine out of ten. I give this I give this an eight out of ten. Hmm. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's a feeling. You just feel it. Okay. I feel it. Yeah. Hey, just go with your gut and your feelings. All right, that's all for today for Christian meme review. <laughs> uh, let us know what you think. If this video gets a hundred likes. We'll do another one. If I would have said like a thousand likes, we don't usually get even close to a thousand likes on most of our videos. But I do have like seven here that I'll do again if people like it. I'm not kidding. Are we gonna come up with like a, or that was our intro. <laughs> I was just thinking, are we gonna come up with like a, Cool, cool intro, if it becomes a thing.